Welcome. I'm going to take you through a brief overview of Sage Intact's ASC 606 compliant contracts module. We will start with a quick view of the module's capabilities, visibility into your contracts through dashboards and financial reports, a comprehensive look at the information available to you by contract, ease of invoice generation, insight into deferred revenue, and extended operational reports. The contracts module you can get contracts from Salesforce or in house data. Once it comes into the contracts and subscriptions module, we have automated billing that supports multi currency, variable, recurring, and rollover usage billing, fixed price with billing schedules, invoice scheduling, and generation by month, quarter, or annual cadence. Easy co term changes support adding or debooking lines for an existing contract, associating project with a contract line, renewing a contract and automating reversal entries upon contract cancellation. Automated revenue is ASC 606 compliant, supports multi-element arrangements, and differentiates unbilled and unearned versus what is unbilled and earned. We can also have billing revenue and cash forecasting, SAS metrics, and budgeting and planning at, by the contract. There is a native integration between Salesforce and Intact where you can create and work your opportunities in Salesforce, mark an opportunity as one to record that contract. This now allows your finance team to confirm the opportunity and products to prepare the billing schedule. When the contract is posted in Intact, the contract lines sync up to Salesforce. You're able to view the completed Intact contract and contract invoices through that opportunity in Salesforce. As soon as you log into Sage Intact, you can see the information that is important to you regardless of your role. The customer view provides insight through performance cards to show revenue breakdown by customer groups, as well as a graph showing revenue distribution by subscription, and a report that shows customer revenue by product. As with all dashboards and reports in Intact, you're able to drill into the source report or transaction. Our executive dashboard shows other breakdowns related to the number of customers and metrics for annual recurring revenue. The number of customers is maintained through a statistical account. Statistical accounts are used in the same manner as general ledger accounts, however they keep track of quantities rather than dollars. They can be used to calculate revenue or cost per customer, product, employee, or any other dimension as can be seen here and the profit and loss revenue per headcount, where we've taken our net income divided by the employee count to get revenue per employee, and then also use the salesperson count to get revenue per salesperson. Our CFO is interested in contract expenses by sales rep and their revenue trends. The revenue trend utilizes dimensions to view revenue by location, customer type, segments, channels, and products. Dashboards can consist of any number of components, including but not limited to performance cards, lists, menu items, and financial reports with selection criteria that apply to the entire dashboard. Once we get into our contracts, we are able to, from one screen, see everything that's related to a specific contract general information that lays the foundation for the contract, such as our billing start date, end date, you have the terms, you can also have the billing frequency, billing price list that could apply, and any supporting documentation, as well as a signed copy of the contract can also be attached. Contract renewals can have the same or different pricing than the original contract by selecting renewal template, and then the term length. You are also able to build the renewal in advance to give your customer ample time to review the renewal. The contract's financial history is available through journal balances, which show unbilled and billed, deferred, and sales revenue. It shows at the total contract level as well as by line item. The transaction history shows detailed posting information by line with the ability to drill into the GL batch or the invoice. Billing transaction history lists all of the invoices 
generated for that contract. Compliance provides an audit trail of contract task completions, whether it was completed by another employee, but not necessarily another intact user. We go back to the general tab. We, are, we can view not only the billing and revenue recognition schedules, but the status of each as well. You'll notice when we go into our performance management subscription, that consists of equal billing amounts invoiced on an annual basis. Whereas our revenue schedule is daily and it's posted at the end of the month for each of 36 months. You'll notice that January has a higher amount than February due to the number of days. Invoice generation is quick and easy since the billing rules and schedules are applied at the onset of the contract. You select the type of invoice you want to generate, the applicable invoice and GL posting dates, and how you want to invoice. Invoicing by bill to accommodates a situation where you have multiple customers that are subsidiaries that have the same bill to contact. Additional filters provide flexibility for currency, specific customer types and industries, groups. However, it's easiest for you to divide your contracts up for ease of billing. Additional transactions to include that if your contracts include projects, you can include timesheets, expenses, any accounts payable bills, and purchasing transactions. With the exception filters, it allows you to see all transactions which would provide for a pre-bill report. From there, we can preview our invoices. You have the total amount here, and you can look through the invoices, drill into it, and you can also deselect if there's something that you want to take a look at. From there, we're going to go in and take a look at managing our revenue schedules, which is really very similar to this functionality that you have for generating your invoices. With the exception of a few filters that only pertain to invoices, revenue schedules can be run using the same parameters when generating the invoices. I can enter my parameters, and then from there I can go in and I can preview my entries. Revenue schedules can be set to be automatically run, like it's a set it and forget it, or you can go through and you can review all of your entries prior to posting them. Within our report center, Sage Intact's dimensional reporting, you're able to select and view contract detail in financial, general ledger, and operational reports. With the standard general ledger report, you can select the range of accounts, such as revenue accounts, and add dimensions, such as the customer name, contract name, et cetera and you will see that breakdown by each one of your individual GL accounts. As with all intact reports, you can export them to Excel for ease of additional analysis. The contracts module comes with 18 standard reports ranging from forecast schedules, scheduled billing, expense, and revenue entries, and subledger reports by customer, contract, and GL group. We take a look here, we can look at an unbilled recognized revenue, which shows you revenue that has been recognized, but has not yet been billed to the customer. As you can see, Sage Intex Contracts Module and ASC 606 reporting provides the visibility and compliance detail you need to easily and accurately generate, generate invoices, recognize revenue, and report on operational schedules for the use of dimensional reporting. You're able to set up contracts through Salesforce or directly through Sage Intact, whatever works best for your organization. With Sage Intact, you have anywhere, anytime access to your environment since all you need is an internet connection. Thank you for taking the time to look at Sage Intact's contracts module.